In this video, I am going to show you how to use the address function in Google Sheets. So what the address function does is it will return a cell reference as a string. So let's look at the syntax first. So this is the basic syntax of the address function. The first argument is a row, and this is basically just the row number of the cell reference. So whatever row you want to return as the result from the function, you just put the row number in. The second argument is column number, and it's column number, not letter. So column A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, and etc. Um, the next argument is going to be the absolute relative mode, and this just controls um, the kind of absolute or relative cell reference that you are using and so what you will do is put in a number between one and four this is an optional argument if you do not set it it is going to be one by default so one is row absolute and column absolute two is going to be row absolute and column relative three is row relative and column absolute and four is row and column relative so the next argument in the function is use a one notation this is an optional argument that is going to be set to true by default true just means that we will be using a one notation for the cell references and if it is false it will be using r1 c1 notation um, and then the last argument is sheet. This is just another optional argument um, that will just be blank by default, but it's basically a string with the name of the sheet that the address belongs to. And so if you're leaving it blank, it's just the current sheet that we're on. Um, and then here's just a little chart um, as a reminder for the absolute relative mode um, arguments. So one, column and row absolute, two, column relative, row absolute, three, column absolute, row relative, and four, column and row relative. So um, now let's take a look at how it is actually used in a spreadsheet. Um, so I have these different address functions set up here. Um, this is the formula used, and this is the result. So let's just um, go down these one by one so we can see why the result is what it is. So the first formula is one and one. So in the address of row one, column one is A1. So that's what the result is. And um, if I do not specify at the third argument, it's gonna be column and row absolute. So that's what these dollar signs are around here is it is taking the absolute A1 cell address. So that is the first formula. The second one here is one, two, two. So we're still in row one, but now we're in column two. So you can see row one, column two is this value, which is B1, but this time my third argument is two. So it's column relative row absolute. So the dollar sign is locking the row and the column is relative. So this next one here is one, three, three. So we're still in the first row. Now we're in the third column. So you can see it's C1 and three column absolute row relative. So now the dollar sign is in front of the C because we're taking the absolute column but the row is relative so this next one again we're still in the first row so it's one but then we're in the fourth column so D and we are doing with the third argument of a four a column and row relative so there's no dollar signs here um, because it's relative for both column and row and then the last formula that I have here is two three so now we're in the second row and we're in the third column. So C2, and then I'm leaving that third argument blank, which is going to set it as 
a one by default so column and row absolute and that is why the dollar signs are here because it is taking the absolute for both column and row um, so that is the basics of how to use the address function um, this function is most often used with other functions I've covered using it before in some other videos on ways that it is it is useful to do different things but in this video I just really wanted to spend a little bit more time in depth going through the function so that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions just let me know in the comments thank you for watching the video if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or content suggestions just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone